Hey everybody, Cheryl here. This is my second attempt to do this video. I actually um, <laughs> dropped my phone while I was in the middle of doing this. So I'm going to start over. Um, I'm starting with, I have a confession to make. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have a confession to make. I actually... Um, went out and had my nails done professionally at a salon and this is the first time I've had my nails done professionally at a salon in probably six years. Um, I used to get them done every other week um, for probably 15 plus years um, and I quit having them done at a salon because I just thought the cleanliness was less to be desired there and it was you know I started seeing it was going downhill very fast and I'm not saying all salons are bad don't don't take that in the wrong way this is the particular one that I used to go to and um anyway so as you guys know I um I suffer from SLE lupus and I have fibromyalgia as well and for the last three to four weeks I've been suffering a pretty nasty flare um a lupus flare which makes me feel really tired and achy and um among other things, <laughs> but, uh, so I really wanted to get my nails done for the 4th of July, but I just didn't feel like I could do them myself because, um, my joints are really stiff and I've been having, you know, just hard time with my, with my joints and I, I'm coming out of the flare. So the flare is almost gone. I'm feeling more like myself today, but anyway, back to what I am doing this video for. And I just want to show you my nails because I want to say first of all you guys keep up keep up doing your own nails just keep doing them because <laughs> if I had somebody come in my house and I did their nails and they looked like this I would first of all I wouldn't have let them get that far second of all um I just I no I wouldn't mm -mm, no I kind of don't know what I'm going to do yet but I'm going to show you these nails and you tell me I just went in and did a basic uh French tip and I asked her to be artistic because I wanted something 4th of July, and I'll show you what she did, and I paid $60 for this mess, so here we go, here's my nails, and even at a far distance, I'm sure you guys can see what I'm talking about, but we're going to get close up and get my light, they are full of bubbles, can you see the bubbles, and can you see, she, they basically just put a white tip on and then over went with clear acrylic, but I hate that shadowing, and I don't know if this is focusing, I'm praying that it is, because I really, I mean, you can see it on this middle finger, well, all of them have bubble, you can see the bubbles in the acrylic, in the, the stroke marks, it looks off. Well, I just I paid sixty dollars for these, and I I saw the bubbles right off the bat, and I thought, well, maybe she's gonna airbrush over the white, but no, she didn't. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get this to focus a little bit better. There we go. All right, I'm focused as good as it's gonna focus. Can you see all those bubbles? And then. If you go that way, you can see the clear with the reflections. And I'm sorry, that to me, for $60? Are you kidding me? Zoom, zoom, zoom. There we go. Focus, I focus. Look at that mess. I mean, she did a pretty job on the nail that has the design. You can't see the bubbles. But those bubbles are definitely visible. And then when you go this way, you can see like the tip, how it's because it's clear. She encapsulated with clear. I don't know. Am I just being nitpicky? Am I being just weird? Let me know. Um, what would you guys do? What do you suggest I do? Um, it, I thought I was going to save myself some time and just you know problem by getting them done and then I figured I could just do the next fill or whatever but I am so like oh, I don't know what to do about this just tell me have 
when was the last time you guys have been to a salon? And all the nail techs out there, tell me, seriously, I just want to hear. I want to hear what you guys would do. And if you're a nail tech, is this acceptable? Is this what is considered acceptable now in our salons? Um, I don't, I don't know. And again, if I'm being just difficult, <laughs> then I'm sorry I'm being difficult. But if I was doing someone's nails, I would not ever, ever, ever let them. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of rambling because I'm trying to get this to focus on my, ugh, there we go. It's focused again. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't let, I wouldn't let somebody walk out my door like this. I just wouldn't do it. I would not do it. So, 60 bucks for that. And this was my 4th of July. I said, be artistic. Do whatever you want. I don't care. And this was what her artsy crazy I said go crazy this is what her go crazy was I mean it's pretty the design is pretty but I wish she would have done maybe something to my thumbs I mean at that point I just didn't want to do any more so I'm gonna move on I'm just curious what you guys think about this and you know I maybe maybe I am just being but no I don't think I am I was gonna say maybe I'm just being extra picky because I do my own nails and but no, even if I didn't do my own nails, this wouldn't be acceptable for me. It just, I'm sorry. I don't know. Let me know. Comment down below. I have rambled for six minutes and 50 seconds about this. I'm going to push on because I really want to upload this because I want to hear what you guys say. I literally just walked in the door with this and it's just, it's going to drive me absolutely insane um, because I just, I can see it and it's, it's, uh, anyway. All right. Let me know below. <laughs> Comment below. All right. Talk to you guys later. Love y'all. Bye.